Hello YouTube, welcome to my laboratory. Today we're going to talk about uh, building a uh, DC amp tester. I'm going to be using a DC motor here and a prop and I need to make an arbor here and here you can see the parts. I have uh, the motor here and the prop and a quarter 20 bolt and I'm just measuring the uh, shaft dimensions and then I'm going to get a drill bit corresponding to the uh, dimensions of the shaft and uh, then we're going to go on over to the lathe and we're going to drill the hole. And watching my uh, lathe video I can see that my tail stock's a little bit off and you can see when the bit goes in it goes to the left or the right I need to adjust that. But anyway uh, it cut the hole and I went one size bit undersized because I knew it was going in crooked. And then uh, finally we got the motor fit and uh, it was tight. And then it was time to come up a way to attach uh, the motor to the bolt permanently. I gave it a bunch of consideration, you know, how do I permanently attach this motor? And so, you know, I thought about, well, I could side drill it and tap it and put an Allen screw in. But then I just figured I'd go back to my old standby and uh, get it properly seated. Now, don't try this as home because we are a trained professional. I mean, me, I am a trained professional. And you could hurt yourself if you're not careful. And just to give a little credit about me being a trained professional, I want to let, let you know I have all nine of my fingers left. So let's get the parts together and go ahead and mount the blade and get to the dangerous area. And just to give you an overview of why I'm doing this, um, I'm doing a product review. It's a constant current, constant voltage board up to one amp and I wanted a piece of equipment uh, to use the load uh, that you could actually see and this is something that you can see and hear. Now I'm going to go ahead and move the wires out of the way and get ready for the big test. Now in the upcoming segment pay, segment, pay close attention to the amp draw and the voltage. It doesn't go over 1.8 volts um, and the amperage is negative. I guess because this is Chinese and if it has something to do with the magnetic response because of the hemisphere, I'm not really sure. Uh, but it does seem a little awkward there on the voltage and uh, amperage. It goes to the constant current setting. And uh, speaking like my dad, let's go ahead and, and go ahead and get this baby really rolling. We're going to go 220. Well, we're actually not going 220. The uh, constant uh, power supply has only put out 3 amps. But I have a variable, a variac, which is 10 amps. So that's coming up next. Okay, you got the 10 amp uh, power supply here. About 5 amps, 5 and a half. Let me just show you something over here. I'm staying here. So anyway, I got the uh, props spinning the fan there in the background. Wanted to see, let you see that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you found this interesting. Please leave any questions or comments. Uh, please leave any questions in the comment section. And if you like my videos, remember, thumbs up, subscribe, and share with your friends.